Hey everyone! In this video, we're going to be going over how to do an egg quest. This is pretty much a basics concept. First thing we need is at least an attempt to get Feline Supercats and or Feline Lander. Regardless of the delivery quest you're doing, those two kitchen skills are really handy to have, though not necessary. Um, so we got Supercat, that'll help us transport things a little better. I also recommend getting the Locklack Shawl, Kilt, and Boots, high rank or low rank, either way, because it has Pro Transporter by default. And Pro Transporter increases your speed while transporting items and decreases the likelihood of dropping them. This means that you will be able to carry big things quicker and easier. Now you don't need a ridiculous number of skills on the set, pretty much Transporter will do. And I would also recommend just bringing stamina items to keep your stamina full. However, getting Marathon Runner and Stamina Recovery up are super helpful in that it'll let you, you know, run faster, run longer, and not have to, uh, like, walk as much because your stamina refills more quickly. Um, the Talisman I have is where we get the, like, chunk of Stamina Recovery up. And then we just gemmed in um, a plus one gem there. And then the Ludroth braces have one, and the cap has two. And then the Ludroth gear also has stamina, which will give you Marathon Runner with a two slot weapon. And like, you don't need this ridiculous talisman, could probably skip on stamina recovery up. It's just really helpful. I also gemmed in Soul of Burna because that has Have Hunger, and that'll mean less eating items as we go through our delivery quest. So I'm gonna be doing. Oddly enough, not an egg quest. I'm going to be doing Mining the Final Frontier. It is on the dunes. And um, my item set, I do have that cool drink on me, but this is my my set for doing Sakura Method, just with energy drinks worked into it. Um, and this quest, we can look at the info. Two meteor chunks, this is on the dunes. Um... Volvodon's going to be roaming around. I don't really care about Volvodon. I'm probably just going to avoid him if I can. And um, there are a couple of variations of this quest. The Meteor Chunks being one of them. Now because um, the Locklack set also has, has Heat Cancel, we don't need to worry about Cool Drinks at all for this. This is also helpful for when you have to do one of the delivery quests in the Volcano. Um, or Volcanic Hollow, it probably is. Or both. It's They probably have one of each in this game. Um, it's really helpful to have Heat Cancel for that. If I recall correctly, the Meteor Chunk's in... I think 8. Might be a 9. Yeah, there it is. Um, and these delivery quests, what the game likes to do... Is as soon as you like, as soon as you get the thing, the game likes to block off the easy way back to camp. Or usually it does it, or I should say sometimes it does it, after the second time uh, when you're going to do your second delivery. Oh, so it's not blocking us off here. And that's sort of how the game gives you your challenge for the delivery quest. Now, as you can see, with Pro Transporter, Stamina, I mean Marathon Runner, and Stamina Recovery Up, we can just run forever and ever with this setup and be mostly fine. The only thing is we can't really do jumps with it. So when you get to the crest of the hill here, I'm going to take my finger off the run button until we get over it and then start running again. It's a little tip. Also, um, there's no climbing involved in this quest yet. But you cannot do your evades up and down walls, because you'll just drop the item. It's, con it's basically considered an evade. Where is that red box? There it is. Um, it's basically considered an evade. Going up and down the wall. And I'll show that when I go to pick up the second chunk. Yeah, go, go fight win is also kind of a neat thing to have for this. This is all about, this This entire thing is about keeping your stamina, um, keeping your stamina, like, as high as possible, for as long as possible, so you can do the delivery effectively and quickly. 
You'll also want to be um, aware of what small monsters are floating around. Because there were conchus in there. And the conchus would probably easily knock this thing out of my hands. We also have banabras in here. They can be kind of a pain for this. So yeah, when you uh, when you do when you do the evade, you drop the thing, and that happens when you do the evade up walls as well. The other variations of this, the powder stone one, is volcanic hollow, probably also volcano. Um, oh, they're not blocking us off again. And then, um, I think it's like, there's like a fossil in the Jurassic, um, frontier stage. Eggs happen whenever there's a nest. I would ass I know that you have to do one on the Verdant Hills, Verdant Highlands, whatever it's called, um, to unlock Astalos. And I would recommend maybe gemming in Pro Transporter for that, but you could probably get away with just using any old armor for that quest, because I did it in annual armor. I just made this armor because I knew I'd have to do a bunch of these, and it just makes it so much easier and smoother. Like, I mean, we had no hassle doing this at all. And then there's Gargua, Gar, uh, Gargua eggs in Yukomo. And for those, you basically walk up behind the bird and give it a whack, and it'll frighten them, and they will lay an egg. And usually they move the gargoyles around, forcing you to change and adapt for each one of those quests. You know what? I should probably just show that. Okay, so I have Super Cats and Lander. Uh, still have all my, my kit. And the quest we're doing is for whom the egg yolk, for whom the egg yolks deliver three a gargoyle eggs. So gargoyle eggs, they're different from the wyvern eggs. Wyvern eggs, you just go to wherever the nest is and pick up the eggs and go, go back. For this, we have to do a little extra step in here. Probably be the gargoyles are in one. Yeah. So if you look, gargoyle, you just gotta wait, like this one's got its back to us. So if we come up to it and whack, um, that was, there's the egg. I do need gargoyle parts, the feathers. Um, so I'm actually just gonna kill this one, but you know what? If I carve it, I carve it. If I don't, I don't. I'm not gonna carve it. Okay, never mind. So yeah, we got the egg. And we can just run right back to camp for the first one. So this quest will generally put the egg, the gargoyles, further and further away. Forcing you to carry the egg further and further. Yeah, if we get the three, if we get three guano, um, I'll probably grab their shinies. So if we get three guano, I'll definitely do the delivery on that, but... I don't really know that I'll need to. So I'm gonna go to four. Probably like four, two, six, five, maybe. Okay, never mind. We can just come in here. So yeah. Oh hey, we got a golden egg. Ow. I don't know if the gold one will count towards our quest, but we're gonna we're gonna deliver it anyways. Because the golden egg it's worth a lot of points, if I recall correctly. And if it doesn't count towards the quest, then I'll I'll still consider it a win. Because I think it's both worth a lot of points, and if you turn one in, I think you might actually just get a golden egg to either sell or turn into usually it's fate charms or uh, decorations. Nope, it doesn't count. Um, I think we just do deliver non-quest items? Yeah. So. Deliver the golden egg. Okay, we need a real egg now. So technically we're delivering four of these. Yeah, golden eggs are actually kind of a rarity. 
I'm actually surprised that the subquest wasn't delivered a golden egg. Um. Whoops. Well, it wouldn't be me making a video if I didn't make a complete hash of it. Hey! Oh, we picked up the egg. No choice but to deliver it. <laughs> I think the game prioritizes the sh the shiny drops first over carving stuff, so you tend to end up picking up the eggs because I think they count as shiny drops. That's fine though. The quicker we get the eggs done, the better. But these delivery quests are pretty simple. I think they only get really, really rough when you have to do them in the volcano. Because usually it's powder stones or whatever the thing is. Um, in Volcanic Hollow, and usually it's at like the bottom of the volcano, so you have to burn it all the way to the top. Well, no, it's reversed. In the Hollow, it's at the bot, it's at the bottom, and uh, the normal volcano is at the top, and you have to run it back down the mountain. I think I actually don't know if the old volcano has a uh, transport site. I know I know Volcanic Hollow does though. I think it actually has two. Powder stones way at the bottom and. Okay, we got Bullfangos are in here now. I doubt we have Gargoyles in two. That'd be too easy. No, Malinxes. Um, yeah, Powder Stones are at the bottom, and there's one in the middle. I don't remember what it is. It's in the cave. Um, it's not like, I don't think it's ancient fossils, but it's like, there's a big crack in the wall. That's our Zeros. Or no, that's a... Yeah, it's Arzuros. I'm like, or is that a Gargoyle? No, that's Arzuros. You can tell because he's a bear, not a bird. But no, he has kind of the same colors as a Gargoyle. He was just sitting down and that made it weird. I'm inclined to let that Arzuros just sit and eat his honey. I'll let the cats provide cover. Yeah, your cats... I'm 50-50 on saying you should bring them, because... I've done an A quest where one of my cats went to hit the other cat. Oh, here's... I had Lander, right? Yeah, here's Lander, If in case you're wondering. Lander, you can jump off of high place, pretty much any height, and you won't drop your egg. I wish I had a giant clip to jump off of to show you that, but um, I don't. So, yeah. Lander, if you don't do... If you're not doing an egg quest and you still get it, it's still kind of helpful because you'll basically land on both of your feet solidly and be able to run immediately. Instead of doing that little, like, fall the character normally does. You'll sort of just land on your feet. You'll be fine. So that was For Whom the Egg Yolks. Pretty easy quest, all in all, especially if you have a ridiculous transporting set like this one. So thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something from it. And I will see you guys next time.